CataractCoach.com. Zeptolink integrates automated capsulotomy. Let me show you about this in this promoted video. Now, you remember the Zeptor device that we've shown before? Here, a year ago, we used it to make a capsulotomy. Pow! Just like that, instantly in that intumescent white cataract. How easy was that? Well, the new device, the Zeptolink, is now integrated with your FACO machine. It uses the vacuum of your FACO machine and your FACO foot pedal to create the suction and then the brief four millisecond burst of energy delivered to make that instant capsulotomy. And you can have 5.1 millimeter diameter or 5.4 millimeter diameter. And so there's no extra footprint. Again, this machine integrates with your FACO machine. Let me show you a case here. This is a patient with a very tough case, a scarred fibrotic anterior lens capsule. And the patient's other eye had surgery elsewhere and had a lot of problems with a broken capsule, drop nucleus, full vitrectomy, sutured in lens, we don't want that to happen in this other eye. So we make our incision there. That's a 2.2 millimeter incision made of the diamond. And now here comes the Zepto device. That starts off in that 5.1 millimeter ring. We can collapse it first. And once we collapse it, it'll be able to be inserted through our small incision. So there's collapsed, goes through the 2.2 incision, centering it in the eye. Now we can open up the ring. Now it's round again. Center it up exactly where we want to. And once it's centered up, we can apply a little bit of vacuum. Now you can use your FACO foot pedal and your FACO tubing to apply that vacuum. There's the suction, just like that. And then we'll deliver a brief burst of energy. Again, this burst is only four milliseconds, so it instantly creates a beautiful rexus or capsulotomy. There it is, done. And now when you release the device, it flushes back and we'll take it out of the eye, just collapse on itself. And you'll see the capsule opening is done and it's completed. And there's no issue, even in this fibrotic lens capsule. We're able to go inside now, pull out that capsule that's totally free floating, and now we can continue the rest of the FACO. So it really simplifies this procedure. Now this is great for a complicated case like the intumescent white cataract and this scarred anterior lens capsule, but it's also amazing for any routine case because it gives you that consistency of having that beautiful capsule opening. Now, yes, you should be able to use all technologies. I'd like for you to have this now bring, but also, of course, be able to do it with the Capsurexus forceps. You have to have a great skill set. And again, we want as many tools as possible in our toolbox so we have the ability to tailor the surgery to the patient. We spent the video up here just to clean up the cataract. The lens removal is the easy part, right? Given that capsulotomy or the capsule opening is the tough part, but removing the lens, which in this case is relatively soft, that comes out pretty easily. So we'll clean up the capsule bag here. And I'll show you how beautiful this capsulotomy is. There's the viscoelastic. You can see it's perfectly round, exactly where we want it centered. We'll get the eye well in the eye, do a little capsule polishing there. Here comes the lens. I'll slow the video back down. Single piece monofocal acrylic lens, and it's a toric one too, so we gotta get that lined up appropriately. So here are the arms opening up, and you can see the capsulotomy is strong. These edges are not prone to running out. We, in this case, you saw we flipped the nucleus out of the bag. And look at the overlap, exactly what you want. And remember, you've got the ability to center up that capsule opening wherever you'd like. And so obviously in this case, we put on the center of the pupil, the visual axis, et cetera, center of the capsule bag. But in some cases, you may want to put it a little bit off. Let's say if you have a dislocated crystal lens or traumatic cataract with zinal loss. This allows you to get that capsule opening done very precisely, very easily. And so here, finishing up the case, take out the viscoelastic, you can see it is really a precise and beautifully done overlap. So I encourage you to check this device out. I'll put a link here down below. You can check it out. It's called the Zepto Link, made by Centricity Vision. And again, it's using that Zepto technology, but now the vacuum is coming right from your FACO machine with the existing FACO tubing you're going to use in your case, and you can control it with your FACO foot pedal. So really a fantastic device that has simplified a lot of these tough cases, like I showed you here, but we're also going to use it for routine cases. So very nice device. Please do check it out. And again, it's completely integrated now. So there you see it attached to your FACO machine, and it uses your existing FACO tubing, and it really makes life a lot easier and more predictable. Thanks for watching.